In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the best accessories that you can get to make your Osmo Pocket even better. Let's roll that intro. Welcome to Ben's Guide, your guide to the best news, reviews, and how-tos from the world of photography and video. If you're new here, consider subscribing to become part of our community of photography lovers. The DJI Osmo Pocket is a small video creation machine. Now this is something which has been a game changer in that video creators can now take out this small pocket sized camera and get cinematic smooth footage without the luggage. Now in today's video, I'm actually going to be reviewing and sharing with you some of the best accessories that you can get for the Osmo Pocket to make it even better. I wanna thank a company called Ulanzi who reached out to me on YouTube and asked me if I would want to share their accessories with you guys on my channel. And of course I thought this would be a great idea. Now I like this because they've put no pressure on me to say leave good reviews so I can leave completely honest reviews otherwise I would have said no. Now the great thing about these accessories is they all work for the Osmo Pocket and they're all designed to make it better. Plus, all the accessories you see in today's video will be given away to one of you guys. Now, if you're interested in this giveaway and you would like to win these, then all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and make sure you leave yes as a comment in the comments area below the video. This lets me know that you wanna be entered in the competition. Now, the winner will be announced on the 24th of May on a Friday and they will be announced on my Facebook page. So if you're not already on my Facebook page, there's a link to that in the description. Just go on there on the 24th of May or alternatively, like or follow the page so you can be updated when this announcement happens. Now, if you're not interested in a giveaway and you just wanna get the items, then of course you can do. The links to the items will be in the description of the video so you can just jump in there and then go to the items that you need. Okay guys, with all of that said, let's jump in to the video. So the first accessory is going to be this case right here. Now, the problem this is gonna solve is that when you spend 350 pound on your Osmo Pocket, the last thing you want to do is be dropping it and damaging it. And unfortunately, DJI don't provide you with a box. So this is where this guy comes in right here. Now, this is a carry case, which is actually a hard case as you can here, there. So it's really gonna protect your Osmo Pocket, which is great, because that's what you want. It's a zip case, which is nice and simple to just zip open like that, and then you can see your Osmo Pocket inside. Now you can see it's nice and protected, and also one of the main things which is important is you have room for your accessories. You've got your mount adapter hole here, and you've got the other accessories which you can put in there. You've also got a zip compartment here, which is gonna keep Inside here, your charging cable and other cables. Also, what I really like about this box is you actually have this little plastic box which comes inside, which is very well protected. <laughs> there you go. And this is really handy because it keeps all of your little cards and stuff in there which you need to keep safe and protected. So I think that's great to have with this because these little things easily get lost and before you know it, you're paying out money again to get them replaced. So I really like this little carry case and it definitely solves the problem that you have with the Osmo Pocket when you first get it and that is you don't have any kind of case or any way of storing your accessories in there. The next accessory is this charging mount right here, and this is super useful. One of the problems which I came across with the Osmo Pocket from day one, and this is not just me, but plenty of other people as well, is the fact that it doesn't have particularly good battery life. So the fact that when you're actually out and you're filming and then your battery could run out on you is really not a nice proposition. So this is where this universal charging mount comes in. And what you can do with this is charge your Osmo Pocket. So when you're actually out and you're filming, you know that you're gonna be able to keep a charge if you connect this to a battery pack. Now, the Ulanzi accessories uh, actually have, I think this is Ziploc, yes it is. So you can just open it simply like that. 
and then take it out. And then you have this charging mount right here. Okay, so let's just test this with the DJI Osmo Pocket, which is right here. First thing we wanna do is just connect the DJI Osmo Pocket like that. Make sure it's nice and connected. And then to make sure that you're actually charging it, you're gonna to have to connect it to some kind of battery pack. So let's just go ahead and get a, get a battery pack here and connect it up to the Osmo Pocket. So I'm just gonna use this one here. Put this on the table. And then we wanna make sure we've got the right lead. So that's not gonna be the right lead. Okay, so you wanna ensure that you've got the right lead. Okay, so all we need to do is connect the lead to the battery pack, like so, and then just connect this straight in to the Osmo Pocket. And then now that's connected, you can actually see this flashing light here, which means it's charging. But let's just check this. Let's make sure everything's working correctly. Switch it on. And now you've got a nice charging sign here, which shows you that it's charging. So this is gonna be really, really useful. And it's gonna solve the problem that a lot of people have using the Osmo Pocket in that it has poor battery life. You can then connect this if you want to, to your tripod just by adding the tripod head right there. Or in, if you don't want to connect it to a tripod, you can actually connect it to any other form of stand or any other form of accessory that's got that screw right there. So it's a really handy accessory, this. It's great because it's gonna charge it and keep it charged so that you've got enough charge for your filming. And also you can add it to other accessories so that you've got more flexibility when filming. Okay, so keeping the mount connected to the Osmo Pocket, I'm gonna show you the next accessory. Now, at the moment, you've got this stand here which gives the Osmo Pocket a bit more stability. So it's probably gonna take a bit of a knock before it falls over. But if you want some real stability to stop it from getting damaged, then what you're gonna need is a small little stand. And I have one right here. So you've got this tiny little stand, which I'm gonna show you, which you can just connect to that thread, which I showed you a minute ago. So you can just screw this on like this. And then when it's screwed on, you can just open it up, simple as that, and then you've got a nice stand. And voila. That's gonna give you a lot more stability to stop it from getting knocked over, which is really important. And also it means that you can kind of do more filming and you have more flexibility for different angles. So the feature on the Osmo Pocket, which is particularly good, is the follow feature. And this means that you can track and follow your subject. So if you were to just rest it on a stand and you had a bit of a gust of wind come, it could easily knock it over, ruin your footage, and probably ruin your Osmo Pocket as well. But when you've got a little simple stand like this, it's gonna hold it in place, and it's gonna enable you to film in different situations where you can actually have the follow focus on tracking your subject. Also, it doubles up pretty nicely as a little vlogging handheld extra kind of bit of room there as well. Now, I'm not quite sure if it's meant to be used as that, but it probably is actually. It just gives you a bit more kind of area to kind of hold out and then really get that nice vlogging angle if you want to. And then when you finish vlogging, you could just pop it down and then talk to the camera just like that. So this is a really handy accessory and it's definitely something you should consider um, out of any of the accessories, this is definitely one that I would always go for because you've got no way of keeping it stable otherwise and it's just gonna fall over. Now the next accessory actually really does solve another problem which you have with the Osmo Pocket and that is you have a very small screen. So a lot of times when you film in the Osmo Pocket you can't really see what's going on and it almost feels like the screen's a little bit pointless. And whenever I film with my Osmo Pocket, I always do it with a phone. So this accessory here is designed to be used with the phone. Now the great thing about this is it actually connects to the stand, which I just showed you a minute ago, which is there, right here. And all you need to do is actually connect it to the bottom, like so. And then you have your stand for your phone. 
Now, of course, you've got extra flexibility as well because you can then use this horseshoe mount here and add a light and then it starts becoming more, let's say, like a vlogging setup. Alternatively, if you want to take it a step further, you can actually unscrew this like so. And then you can actually add this in. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't done this yet, so I'm hoping this works just like I'm thinking it will. So you just screw this in at the bottom, like so. And then I can feel that you've got a bit of movement here so that you can just get your angle right when you want to line up your phone and your Osmo Pocket if you're connecting them together. That's actually really useful. So let's just have it there and then screw it a bit tighter and then just add the stand here. Okay, that's brilliant. So now I can put the stand down and then I can add my Osmo Pocket, which is still connected to the mount. Let's pull that out right here. And then suddenly you've got this great little setup here where you've got your Osmo Pocket here and then you've got your phone, which you can connect in. Now, as you've, well, in fact, you've probably done this before, but you just need to take that out there and then you just need to put in your adapter and then that clips straight into your phone. Now, I can't actually show you the phone at the moment, unfortunately, because I'm recording the audio of this video on the phone. But the phone does connect just into here. It just slots in. And what I really like about this, actually, is it's not just a lift up one. You've actually got this here, which you can unscrew and then just change the height to fit what phone you've got. So you've got more flexibility. And what I don't like about some of these is, some of the cheaper ones, is sometimes when you lift it up, you end up snap, snapping it back down on the phone. And you know it does worry me sometimes that it might just break your phone screen because it snaps down so hard. So this, all you need to do is unscrew it or screw it in whichever way you're doing it. And then you can just add your phone in there, connect it to your Osmo Pocket, and you've got that lovely viewing experience with the bigger screen, and then you've got your access to the, uh, the app as well. Okay, so finally, we've got this here. Now, this accessory was one which uh, had me a little bit perplexed when I first looked at it, but I've actually figured out what it does. So let's just open it up and show you. So, Sometimes when people are vlogging, they like to film from different angles. And I understand this because it's a better experience for the viewer watching the video. You've got different viewing angles going on and it's more visually appealing for people watching the video. So in this pack, you've got this clip here. Now what this clip does is it actually clips on to your rucksack. So if you're out doing video or photography and you've got some luggage with you, you can just snap that straight on and then what you do is you actually add this bracket here and then this bracket enables you to connect the Osmo Pocket to this right here and it gives you flexibility. So you can do this a couple of ways. You can actually add it like this and then screw it in. And then what you need to do is you need to just put your Osmo Pocket in like that. And then you can literally just have this lovely viewing angle where you're walking along and it's actually connected to your rucksack and you can see everything from that perspective. So what it does is it just adds that extra dimension to your filming. Now, honestly, it's probably not an accessory I will use that much because I don't do that style of filming. But I have seen quite a few videos, especially landscape vlogs, which I used to do a lot of where people will use this angle. And it's a great kind of angle to show people exactly where you're going and make them feel like they're part of the video too. So this is a great idea. Now you also can take this off if you don't wanna have it with this here. So let's just take this off. Now if you don't wanna have it connected to that and you just want a bit more flexibility, you can just push this in, stick this in here like this, Screw it in. I will say they make the thread nice and long <laughs> to make sure it connects well. And then when you've screwed it in all the way, what you can do is you can add in your DJI Osmo. And what this does is it gives you more flexibility again. So for instance, if I go ahead and grab the stand, let's just put this down here for a minute. 
I'm going to undo this and I'm going to connect the stand to it, which I just showed you a minute ago. So by connecting the stand like this, this is going to give me another dimension to the filming experience with my Osmo Pocket. So you can hold it like this and then you can change the angle of the Osmo Pocket. This means not only have you got the stabilization and the nice smooth footage that you get with the Osmo Pocket, but you can also kind of change the angle like this to get all different kinds of viewing perspectives. And if you want to take your videos to the next level, then this is something that's pretty cheap and you know it's going to add that extra flavor to your videos that some of your viewers may really enjoy. So that is the last accessory on the list of today's accessories. Okay guys, I hope you found today's video valuable, especially the people watching this who own an Osmo Pocket and are looking for accessories to make it even better. If you did find it useful and valuable, you can always treat me to a coffee if you're feeling nice. And all you need to do is go into the description and there'll be a link to do that there. Now, next video I'm making is all about the Canon 250D. This is Canon's new budget DSLR with 4K. And that video is coming in about four days. So if you don't want to miss that, hit subscribe if you're new here and hit the notification bell. Okay, guys, remember about the giveaway if you're interested in that as well on the Facebook page on the 24th of May. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.